youtubers so they so today I'm just gonna give you a range report so two days ago we went to the farm and test my uh, AR9 pistol so I had a lot of malfunctions uh, particularly double feeds and uh, failure to go into battery and then today I mean this morning I realized that the the bolt is not going all the way back when you rack it it's hitting something so it's not now it's doing it because i do not advise you to do this do this at your own risk so what i did was i used my dremel and then made the channel bigger or wider for the entrance of the stop I think that it's hitting the. Hold on, hold on, I'm gonna show it to you. I don't know if you can see it. Okay, this and now it's working. And then immediately, I also ordered. Um, a set of AccuWedge uh, for for this. I'm gonna put one here and the others in my AR, other ARs, because I I realized that when I don't lock it, I can rack it back freely. And then when I, the moment you lock it, it's hitting something. So it means it's slowing down a bit. It's going down a bit and hitting whatever it is. So, but now I made the channel, so it made it run. Okay, now it's hitting something, okay? So, no, no, oh, I'm hitting it. I'm not pulling it right. I'm hitting this. There you go. Now it's working. So, like I said, I don't advise you to do that, but uh, when you build your own uh, ARs, you learn something. How to make it more reliable. So there you go. And then I'm gonna re blue it or whatever to prevent it from rusting. So that's it, guys. So hopefully, uh, next time out, it will shoot or run better. That's it for now, guys. Thanks for watching. And also, uh, I think this part of the buffer buffer tube is a little thick, so I'm gonna use a Dremel to thin this part right the, right here, so it's just so the bolt just slides in and out. Okay, this is a little thick.